Hello and welcome to this course on 3JS and React 3 Fiber. In this course we're going to be building the Tesla paint picker that you see to your right and in this video I'm going to give a high level overview of some of the things that we're going to learn along the way. We'll start by setting up our environment which will include installing Node and other dependencies and getting a basic React app up and running. Then we'll take a look at the scene graph, which will give us a good conceptual understanding of the 3JS universe. Then we'll set up a basic scene, a spinning cube with plain old 3JS and get an appreciation for how the bare library works. Then we'll set up the same scene with React 3 Fiber using a lot less code and then talk about some performance pitfalls that you should avoid. After that, we'll set up an axis helper and some orbit controls that will help us get oriented in our 3D environment. Next, we'll take a look at some primitives like geometry, vectors, points, faces, lines, and learn how to create mesh from scratch. Then we'll learn about lights and shadows, followed by a material where we'll learn about how different properties on material will give us different effects. Then we'll learn about texture. We'll load texture and add it to some different objects, including the scene background. Then we'll take a look at events and see how we can interact with different objects in our scene. Then we'll introduce drag controls to our scene, which will allow us to move our objects from one position to another with our mouse. Then we'll use UseCanon, the physics library for React 3 Fiber, to add gravity and interaction between objects. After that, we'll learn how to load 3D models into our scene, and then add bounding boxes to them so that we can debug their physical properties. After that, we'll set up a camera controls interface so that we can pan between our models. Then we'll implement our paint picker and make sure that our models are casting realistic looking shadows. Then we'll take a look at post-processing and learn how to add some cool effects to our scene like depth of field and god race. Then we'll learn how to implement animations. Finally, we'll take a look at some of the other libraries in the ecosystem and see some of the cool things that you can do with them. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the following videos.